Susan Morris and we're here at Iguana Creek which is the headquarters of Belize Natural Energy in Belize Central America. This is the plant right behind us but eight years ago there was nothing. This was a scrubby field with nothing on it. Just a dream. A dream of a little Belize boy called Mike Usher who really wanted to make a difference in his country. I met him 30 years ago and together we searched, but there were 50 dry holes here in Belize and everybody thought there was no oil in Belize, there were no chance, but we knew in our hearts. But it wasn't until about 10 years ago when both of us went on the Educo seminar and that gave us the building blocks to turn our dream into reality, into the invincible vision that you see before you right here. So within three short years, Belize Natural Energy was the number one revenue generator in the entire country of Belize. BNE has contributed in excess of $400 million to the government of Belize, which has really boosted their uh, ability to, to, to manage and run the country. And now we have won global awards. Just this year, we won the Education in Energy Award, education at the core of a company, beating out 40 other countries. And indeed, Saudi Aramco won it last year, changing the paradigm shift of even the definition of the award. We have this, this, this strong belief in the company that's reinforced by everybody in the company that if we can develop each and every individual to take control of their lives and better their lives with whatever mechanism we can afford to help them with it, the creating the opportunity within, that would then make the person better, that would make the company better, and that would make the country better, and by extension, the world better. So that was what we were always been trying to do. We also won the Green Award, and I don't think any other oil companies won a Green Award, and we won the Employee Employer of the Year Award. When people come to visit Belize Natural Energy, they really notice the energy in the people. And just this week, an international insurance company was here. We were meeting with them. And they have stated very clearly that we are above world-class standards in fire safety across the board. The model at B&E is a model of self-expression. Everyone at the company gets to participate, and you don't see that in the United States. The holistic model here, uh, as far as the way they do business, it's a win-win situation, not only for the employees here, but for the country in general. Uh, I remember b &E because we were building the Hummingbird Highway in those days, and so we had the original b and uh, trucks that were hauling oil down south passing us. The professionalism was amazing. And then when we actually got to visit the site in Cayo, it, was, it blew us away too. And then the, the whole thing, I guess it's so amazing, is on the job training, which, you know, we didn't have anybody to follow because Belize is so small. There wasn't anybody else really building roads or anybody else uh, yeah. doing a major trucking thing. And so you kind of set the standard for, for everything, B&E did. Mm -hmm. They came in with their safety on the driving and the uh, quality of their equipment. Great. And you gradually saw the professionalism take over. Mm -hmm to where it became just a first-class operation. So I think you can be very proud and leading the way in Belize. Like myself, I'm sure many of you have had amazing dreams for your countries and companies, but couldn't quite get them off the ground. The Educo seminar 10 years ago was that, that key turning point for us that made the entire difference. Back 10 years ago, the mood of the country was hopelessness. And when we hit that first oil discovery, against all odds, wow, the media came. Rene Nuevo brought the eyes of the world right here to this first discovery against all odds at the Mike Usher number one well. 
there was one enormous uh, cheer from the rig floor as the oil started to come and everybody jumping up and down and the happiness in everybody's faces and the next day strangely enough the full cabinet of Belize turned up on location which was the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, the full cabinet turned up and they come off, run off the bus and they were cheering what a great find for Belize and it was a great great time but then the problem was we'd found the oil what do we do with it? getting back to the situation, there was no infrastructure. We had the responsibility of building this world-class holistic company. Each director, each manager, each employee in Belize Natural Energy took part in and went to the Aduco seminar so that they too could be in alignment with the vision of the transformation of the entire country. That was when every employee fulfills and fills up their building block in the pyramid structure and overflows it with extraness, as we say here. Working at BE has really been a blessing. I mean, I've had the opportunity to work in other places around the world, including Houston, and it's none, it's none like what I've experienced here at BE. Um, I've gotten a lot uh, from BE. BE has invested a lot in my personal growth and development um, as far as training me up to be able to assume the roles and responsibilities that I have. And at the same time, I've been able to give back to BE, you know, and they've really allowed me to grow and develop as a person. I've been able to help my family, my friends and everybody and 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 it it, it kind of ties back into what the whole holistic model is about here at BNE and it's about giving back it's about more than just BNE it's about the community it's about the people of Belize and I'm just fortunate to be a part of it that extraness that everybody recognizes in the employees of BNE that drawing out from within is seen at every single level in every single department of BNE Take the administration and their work with the local community. They're really listening to the requirements of the community has led to spending more, often more on these requirements. But today it has led to a great relationship. All the oil that comes here is actually from a multiple of different sites out in the Spanish lookout community. It's actually a Mennonite community in which we have a very close relationship with. Certain international regulations dictate that we put our pipeline at two feet below ground. But after communicating with the community, what made them feel comfortable was a pipeline that was deeper. So even though it costed us more, we kept to that agreement and we have our pipeline at about five feet. And we never try to cut corners because we realize that it will then cut our future. The highest standards in our engineering department attract people from all over the world to see this business model. Starting with our producing sites out in the field, um, that's an area that, that we're really investing heavily to ensure that, that we have uh, the proper safety features in place. Um, all of our wall sites are equipped with cameras to, to allow for real-time monitoring. We have our automation systems in place and emergency shutdown devices in place that will shut off the unit for any abnormal conditions. And our main goal there is to ensure the safety of the operation, the safety of, the, of our personnel working there, and also too for the community around us because it's important for us to all be uh, together as we produce this oil. We have, we have implemented systems that have greatly reduced the amount of gas that we flare off to the environment. Uh, we have our turbine system that produces our own electricity for the facility and also for the pumping units out in the field. So we've been able to greatly reduce on our carbon footprint in our operations and in turn has, has allowed the community and everybody to benefit from that. These people have learned the trade of the oil business so quickly and are running it so professionally. And one of the pleasing uh, aspects now for me is that how many international companies now are coming to visit b and &E and the world-class model that's available for them to study. Here behind us we have the loading dock where over 20 big oil tankers come and load up the Belize crude. Each tanker is a Belizean who is fulfilling his dream to have his own company. And we have helped some of them to co-sign loans for these trucks. And that is how the 
word, the extraness is spreading out around the community. Back in, in the year 205, when the, um, the BNE team came into San Ignacio and were looking for oil, um, it was an amazing year for the San Ignacio Hotel because it was the year we launched phase one of our huge development project. It was a timing that I think was amazing. Um, it was a huge economic boost for us. We weren't thinking that Belize was going to grow that fast. Our occupancy has raised a lot, I mean so very much. We, we, we barely want to say that we have a slow season anymore. Here in Belize, other people are replicating this holistic business model. They have been to the seminar. They are applying what they know to their dreams. My entire outlook on life was transformed just immediately. And it's something that I will treasure and I will use what I have learned for always because it has helped me to live a better life Help me to know that the more you share, the more you gain. Now we are winning gold awards and we are all working towards this common great goal and we are all working and the guys I notice are working with so much enthusiasm. It takes to, to, um, to draw out from them the best of them and to, to be more productive than probably anyone could ever think because it's really all mental. When, whenever you deal with, with persons, you also have to deal not only with looking at them as employees, but also looking at them as individuals, as persons who have goals, who have dreams, who have problems, who have joys, and so on. And so, you know, you reach out to people and then you draw out the best of them. From the very start, this holistic model represented a desire in us for a win, 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 win for everybody. The government, the communities, the company BNE and the investors. For instance, we are the only company that have provided dividends almost immediately within four years to our investor group. And we have done this twice and we're about to do it again here before the end of the year. The community, the Belize Natural Energy Trust was set up to reach out to the community in all sorts of ways, education, environment, and bringing out that extraness, that creative force in all sectors of the Belizean community. The funding that we've received from the company over the last five years have been directly invested in projects and in people to do just that. As you can see, our mission is to unlock potential and we've been doing that through various programs. To date, we've invested over $6 million in supporting the development of schools, in empowering people through teacher leadership training, in funding scholarships, and our signature program, the student loan programs that we've partnered with various uh, community-based credit unions throughout the country has been extended to the high school level and we now have over 600 Belizean students um, attending universities, tertiary institutions and the junior college throughout Belize. We've also invested in infrastructure in various communities, in schools, in community parks, um, in upgrading community centers, in sporting facilities. I admire BNE for the work it has done for the way it has reached out not only to their employees but also because their employees reach out to others and uh, many people school children will know about BNE because they have already implemented projects in their schools uh, they have implemented projects everywhere in different aspects of society so here we stand today BNE as a testament to the success of the Aduco holistic business model. Seven years ago, there was a dirt field. Today, there is a beacon, a beacon that an entire country is proud of. And we, Belize the country, and BNE, want to welcome you all to come here and visit because Belizeans are proud and want to welcome everyone to understand this holistic model and the difference that this can make in your countries too. Thank you very much.